everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be going over the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 releases for, Jan for December 2021 slash January 2022. That does seem like we're getting a joint release again which kind of sucks because that means we're probably not getting a specific January 2022 release. Uh, so that's not great but um, these releases in fact are great. Uh, there are some great, very sought after re-releases and some new releases in these releases. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. Also, I apologize that my hair looks kind of stupid. I just got out of the shower. I like I literally got out of the shower, saw these releases were released and started recording. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it with our first model. We have uh, an Air Canada Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Uh, once again, not anything too exciting, but once it's always nice to have. Uh, it's been a while since we've had one of these released. Uh, and we do also have that with the flaps slash slats extended. Uh, so pretty cool model, not gonna be picking it up. Next up, we have an Alaska Airbus A320-200 in the Fly With Pride livery. Uh, this is a very cool, subtle livery, obviously supporting the LGBTQ plus community. Um, but, this also is going to have Gemini Jets' interesting A320 mold because this obviously this aircraft is equipped with CFM engines, which does mean the engines are gonna be like grossly oversized. So if you do wanna pick up this specific livery, I would probably go for the Aero Classics release that's already out. Uh, the colors are probably gonna be better on this one. So once again, it's just, would you rather have more realistic proportions or better colors? Just you decide. Uh, but overall, pretty nice model, but probably not going to be picking it up because I don't really need much, much Alaska in my fleet. Uh, so yeah, next up, we have an American Eagle Embraer 175. I'm so excited to have this released. I have been waiting for them to re-release this. Obviously, I've been after this model for a very long time. Um, I, I was able to pick up their Embraer 170 release somewhere back there. Um, but uh, obviously the Ember 175 is a lot more prominent and flies a huge amount of routes. So I, I might even just get two of these because it's such a cool aircraft. The Ember 175 is one of my favorite aircraft. So I may pick up two of these just for the heck of it since they're gonna be like $35 anyway on eBay. Uh, so once again, very nice model. As soon as I stop, as soon as I stop recording this, I'm gonna go pre-order this. Uh, but yeah, really awesome model. Can't wait to get this. Uh, so yeah. Next up, we have a Korean Air 777-300ER. Uh, I have no idea if this is actually like a hard to come by aircraft, uh, but uh, once again, it's always nice to get just some like classic ba basic livery models like this that are gonna be nice for people's collections. Not gonna be picking it up, of course, because uh, these, I don't think these actually fly to the US a lot. These might fly to like uh, Los Angeles and like just huge airports, but uh, most of their destinations in the U.S. they fly like the 787-9. Uh, still, nonetheless, cool to get. Uh, and we also do have that in the flap slash slat stat slat extended variant. Uh, once, which once again is pretty nice to get. Although they can't really detail it that well in one four hundredth. Uh, still cool to get though. Uh, next up, we have a Southwest Boeing 737-800 in the Freedom One livery. Bit late. Uh, Obviously, a few months ago, we did have this released by NG Models, and there's a lot better. So, uh, if you're gonna get this, go for the NG version. It's you can still find it in a lot of places. So, uh, but I guess it's good to have options for people uh, who maybe just like want the cheaper option for this. Obviously, this one's gonna be a lot cheaper than NG's version. But Gemini Jets is seven three. Honestly, their seven three seven seven hundred mold isn't bad. It's I don't have any. It's pretty. It's really fine, but. Their 800 and 900 molds are just not good. So uh, I would go for the NG version, but uh, once again, if this is in the future and the NG version is no longer available, then that is a perfectly good option if you want that. Uh, but next up, we have a, a an extremely exciting model, and that is the United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. I am, I hate to say this, but I am very surprised they, they got this out because Obviously, this just joined United's fleet a few months ago. So, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's so great to see Gemini Jets, like, just really on it with uh, releasing this. I'm super excited. I'm going to be getting at least one of these, probably two, uh, because I'm 737 MAX 8 is, I really like them. They're really, I think they're really pretty aircraft. 
Um, and obviously United's new livery is one of my favorite liveries of all time, if you can't tell. But um, either way, super exciting model to have released. Can't wait to add it to my collection. Uh, hopefully we get the Max 9 soon too in the new livery. Obviously we had it in the old livery, but we have yet to get it in the new livery and most of their Max 9s are in the new livery now, so. But either way, amazing to see. Jim and I just really been on point with releasing these Maxes. Uh, finally, for our commercial slash cargo aircraft, we have a uh, UPS Boeing 767-300. Uh, once again, very good model to get. May pick this up, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I consider it because obviously it's a pretty cool model. Uh, and we haven't gotten one of these in a while, so I, that's the reason we're actually getting this out. Uh, Jim and I Jets definitely been doing very well with UPS. A little too well. We got three 747-8s. Uh, they, they've basically just been, as soon as one model runs out of stock with UPS, they've been re-releasing it. Wish they'd do that with FedEx as well, but uh, at least we're doing it with one. So uh, either way, very nice model to get. Just a basic UPS livery. Uh, this is going to be great for a lot of collectors. Next up, we have uh, the last model of these releases, and that is a Gemini Max model, and that is going to be a uh, Royal Australian Air Force uh, Boeing C-17 Globemaster. Uh, once again, pretty basic livery. Uh, there is a 100 on the tail, if you can't, uh, you should probably be able to see it. Uh, so I'm guessing that's like a 100th anniversary of something. I have no idea what, honestly. But uh, once again, still pretty cool to get. Um, uh, looks very nice, although I think I think the wings are I think part of the wings is gone on the I don't know it looks it looks a bit off on the on like the basic uh, the concept art so something it looks a bit off something looks off about the wings but uh, nevertheless great model to get obviously not gonna be picking it up I'm not really much of a military collector uh, and obviously the Royal Australian Air Force and a special livery isn't really a great way to start. Uh, so, nevertheless, very cool models for anyone who wants that. Um, so yeah, that does conclude our video for today. If you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts on these releases. I am very happy with these. Uh, that's two months in a row we've gotten just incredible releases. Some great sought-after models. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go pre-order some of these, and I will see you guys later. Bye.